Welcome to Vlogmas Day 12. Good morning. I woke up a lot later than usual today because I was working a lot later yesterday. And now I still have to edit yesterday's vlog, which won't hopefully take me a lot of time, but if I know myself, it will take me a lot of time. And I also want to finish the illustration that I was working on yesterday. But now all I have to do is um, add some textures that I want to, to include and also work on a few shadows and other, other details. So that won't hopefully take me a lot of time. And uh, I also want to start um, working on a new project today. Uh, I had a new project come through recently and I want to start working on that. Uh, I'll start by creating um, a calendar for me and the client so that uh, she always knows uh, what she can expect from me and at which date so that our communication is um, smoother and, uh, and easy. And I will do that today also. and. I think those are my main plans. So I just received something very exciting in the mail today. It's a book. Uh, and for a little bit of context, last summer I was approached by Eric and Linda to work on a book project they had and they were always super nice when we were in contact uh, but in the end they decided to go for another illustrator and uh, that's not very good news for me but still I was very excited because they chose Vivian Miniker uh, and she's an awesome illustrator I follow her online and you should follow her too if you don't already I'll leave links for where you can find her below and what they did, they created a, a Kickstarter for this book project and I made my pledge, is that how you say it? Uh, and I received the book today and I'm going to show it uh, to you right now. So, let's do it. So, I don't think I ever um, did an, an unboxing video, but I think it's only makes sense to start with a book because these are my favorite things to receive, I guess. Here we go! This is a, a little note from them. And here is the book. It's very cute. Um, Vivian's illustrations are beautiful. It's a very cute cover. It's a um, paperback uh, book. I can't wait to read it. Oh my god. This is so beautiful. <gasps> Look at it. Her illustrations are so expressive. Oh, look at this one. <gasps> okay, I'm not going to show it all because it doesn't really make sense to show all of the book, but I love it. So I'll leave... Um, also a link for where you can purchase it purchase it online so yeah yay super excited so i just printed out the illustration that i was working on 
and I know this lighting is quite terrible and you can't see much but I've realized that I have a few changes that I need to make for instance you can't really read uh, uh, the Merry Christmas so I have to make that a little bit more um, readable and also you can't really see here uh, the gradient I used on the background let me show you whoops that's me uh, but yeah, I, I guess here you can see, even though... Well, wait a minute. Oh, that's better. Uh, you see here that the, I have a um, kind of a gradient from dark blue to not so dark blue. Um, and uh, I know it's kind of different when you see it on the computer and what you get when you print it but I think I can make a few arrangements so that the that gradient is noticeable here because it really isn't right now so looks like I'm not finished just yet so I think I'm done now I just made the second version where you can start to see the the, the gradient on the background uh, but I think it will be even more noticeable once it's printed on a uh, quality paper and printed professionally. This is just made on my home printer. So here is how I like the illustration uh, on the computer. And this is how I had to make, uh, make it for the print, for printing. You can see the... It's a lot, a lot brighter now but yeah now i'll take tosta for her afternoon walk and i'll get back to work so for today's book advent calendar here's what we have it's hyperactivity no hyperactivity typography Hyperactivity Typography from A to Z. Should have practiced that before filming it. Uh, and it's an activity book with exercises related to typography, as the title suggests. And I bought this one when I was starting my master's degree and I didn't know much about typography, so I thought it was a good excuse to buy another beautiful book and that's why I bought it. But to be honest, I never really used it as an activity book. I never wrote on it because I always felt that I would just ruin it with my messy handwriting. But it's, it really is a beautiful book. I really like its design. Um, it has a, a kind of a, a vintage feel throughout the book. And uh, I really like the limited color palette they use. And they even have illustrated portraits of famous typographers, which is a very nice edition and they also have uh, a few jokes uh, related to typography quite quite funny jokes at least the ones I get there are quite a few that I don't really get but anyway um, it's a lovely book and if you're interested in typography or maybe even if you're not um, that may, this may be a, a nice book for you to check out I'll leave a link for where you can find it in the down bar so I hope you like this suggestion and I also hope you like the this vlog and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.